Uh, my name is Keith Hain, and I'm from Provincetown, Massachusetts. And Keith, what brought you to be in this crazy place? Uh, what brought me to be in this crazy place? <laughs> Uh, good question. I um, am on a healing journey for 22 years. Uh, been HIV positive for 22 years, and usually um, for 17 years I followed alternative healing modalities. And for f then the five most recent years I was on a tripla, and um, it's an HIV drug, and I don't like to be on um, allopathic. Uh, regimens and I became familiar with ayahuasca and um, sacred plant medicines in, um, for the past 10 years in, in graduate school and um, I had the opportunity to come to Peru to um, avail, avail myself of uh, you know the sacred plant medicines and uh, in particular I came to this Institute. Um, I was just following my intuition about uh, places that, that I uh, would consider coming uh, to uh, for this. And uh, on my internet research, this uh, place resonated for me. And then I spoke with a healer in Colorado, and she suggested this place too. So it was like uh, the universe confirming my intuition about where to come, so I came here. Um, let's see. Okay, so in this retreat, what practices and experiences do you feel like you resonated with the most? Like, what do you feel has helped you? If you can give a few. Well, on. I think all of it has helped me, but not in the way that I um, imagined. So, um, the ayahuasca and San Pedro ceremonies, um, I know that I felt that they were very beneficial to me in a physical way. Um, I uh, was expecting, you know, the psychedelic uh, trip, and I didn't have any of that. Maybe one or two visions. Um, it really, um, my first intention on the first. Uh, grandmother ceremony was um, asking grandmother for what I needed not what I wanted and she did that <laughs> for like <laughs> all, all the ceremonies <laughs> you know it was like it was out of my hands which was like good um, I, it was a very humbling experience for me um, and I learned quite a bit and I feel like I'll probably be processing this the rest of my life, this experience. And um, so there was the ayahuasca, the San Pedro, and then the daily um, medicine drinks. And I, so synergistically, I feel like all of that help has helped my system very much. I feel cleansed, purified, um, uh, it has made a difference. I, I'll go back and do blood work and see exactly how much difference it has made. Um, but intuitively, I, just I know my body that I, I feel it has made a dramatic profound change and, and deep change um, so um, I'm very pleased I guess <laughs> okay and following that I feel um, the next part would be kind of describing what qualities or associations do you feel like have grown in you since being here like well, um, what um, aspects about me um, do I feel have changed? I guess um, I didn't really realize that this retreat would 
um, touch on psychological, emotional um, aspects as much as it has um, proven to be. Um, but that makes sense because healing is not just physical healing, it's, you know, a number of levels. And um, so I think I, I really have um, come close to understanding um, a lot about maybe the genesis of my illness and um, the psychological, emotional um, uh, genesis of it, I think. And um, you know, that's what I feel is humbling because I mean, there's a lot of um, like my reactive behaviors and um, my self judging and judging of others and all that stuff. It's like really put a, a, um, I don't know, a real spotlight on those. Um, aspects of personality that pretty much colluded with everything else and created this, you know, disease. So, um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, mm. Um, okay. And then the last part would be just kind of like, if it's possible to forecast what it would be ways of how to integrate this experience back at home or what it would look like or feel like? How will I integrate this experience back home? Um, what will it look like? Um, well, I think my interactions with people will naturally be different because I feel like my interaction with myself is going to be a lot different and um, I, I mean now coming from a place of actually forgiving myself and um, loving myself um, and just you know, maybe treating myself with love and compassion, it's like I can open up to the, to others in that same way and um, not feel like I have to control everything or, or feel threatened by life and be threatened by others. I mean, I know the conditioning that I went through in life you know, I'm in, I've been in a fight or flight response most of my life, and I feel that this retreat, I've slowed down enough to realize that, you know, I can let that go, and it doesn't serve me. And, and I knew on one level that it didn't serve me because I, you know, I've done therapy and analysis and stuff, but somehow being in the jungle and no, with no distractions and just face to face with yourself, it's a whole different um, realization process that I experience that is deep and profound and I think will be long lasting and I can, you know, take that into the world um, because I have a lot to um, uh, a lot to consider and, you know, I've, like I said, it'll t probably take years to process all of this and that's okay, you know, I have a lot of time. I'm going to live to be a hundred, <laughs> you know, I'm 57 now, 22 years HIV, big deal, <laughs> you know, my goal is to live t to be a healthy 100, will do, so... <laughs>
<laughs> Amazing. All right. Any last words? Close it up. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I just <laughs> can't believe I made it through. <laughs> um, I'm not a camper, and the first day that I got here, I thought, what the hell did I get into?